is your child frequently falling sick if this is the case with you then this is a global phenomena this is not only happening with you but this is a condition of the children around the world all the parents around the world are increasingly visiting their pediatrician and this is happening because of the pandemic and this is also happening because of the isolation that the children had to go through due to isolation the viral sharing or the you know, contraction, regular contraction of viruses which usually happens when children play among themselves or they go on the ground and play uh, and in the school when there, uh, when there is contact with other children have, uh, this viral sharing hasn't happened since the last two years and because of which the immunity of the children has gone down yes, immunity also increases after infection so if regular infections due to viruses or bacteria are not happening or have not happened for a big gap then this results in decrease in the immunity pediatricians are unofficially calling this phenomena as infection honeymoon although monsoon increases the chances of the children falling sick due to gastroenteritis, dengue, malaria, flu-like symptoms but this year it was more than normal for parents to visit their pediatrician and again I would like to remind you this is a global phenomenon so the biggest reason for this global phenomena where children frequently fall sick can be attributed to reduced contact of children reduced transmission of virus there's uh, irregular sleeping patterns is one more responsible reason because of which the immunity of the children has gone down and over the top of it weight gain most of the children most of the children have increased weight which also contributes in low immunity so how to increase immunity of the children the answer is not in vitamins or any magic preparations with uh, pediatricians are recommending flu vaccine well i leave this decision to the pediatricians but what we can do is we can introduce proper sleeping time we can introduce discipline in the way children are eating their food and they are having their sleep also it is very important that children reduce their screen time because it has been seen it has been scientifically proven that too much exposure to uh, tablets and to cell phones which has an led light reduces the secretion of melatonin which causes uh, sleeping disturbance and the sleep cycles are broken so proper sleeping time good eating habits and one hour at least one hour of vigorous physical activity is important for reintroducing that immunity vigor in the child now how to manage fever at home the calculation of paracetamol is the least talked subject among common people because only doctor apply it but the government saying that paracetamol is going to be helpful in normal fevers people don't know how much paracetamol is required for a child so the simple calculation for paracetamol intake is 15 mg per kg now how do you calculate 15 mg per kg if your child is 20 kgs then i'll calculate 20 into 15 the answer is 300 so if you have a crocin syrup bottle which has 250 mg for every 5 ml that makes every ml has a 50 mg dose so this child requires 6 ml of paracetamol from this bottle where 5 ml is 250 mg because 6 ml will give him exact amount of 300 mg of paracetamol now paracetamol can be repeated every 4 to 6 hours with uh, no safety issues and this is the way you can control the fever at home if the temperature is not settling in 2 days you can see your doctor